Yo, what's up? This is your girl Dragon and it's time for another Fortnite creative tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a build reset. This tutorial is going to be super easy, take you less than five minutes. If you want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. It would be great to have you. In addition to that, I do highly recommend you check out my pre-game lobby tutorial. The link will be posted below so be sure to check it out. Alright, let's go! and built this really simplistic box fight arena for this tutorial. Now you're gonna find that creating this build reset mechanic is gonna be super, super easy. So let me go ahead and first start with all the devices you're gonna need. First, you're gonna make sure the players spawn in the area that you want them to spawn in. For this tutorial, I'm using a player spawner pad. Um, so when the game starts, they start right here. However, you can do a pre-game with a teleporter and have them start here after that timer ends from the pre-game. And if you need a tutorial about that, you can check my most recent tutorial. The link will be posted in the description. Next, you wanna make sure you have a timer. Now this timer is going to automatically reset and that way the bills will reset automatically within a designated amount of time. And then lastly, you're going to need an explosive device. Now this explosive device will go off once the timer is successful. And there you go, it's gonna reset itself once the timer also is successful. Now that you have an idea of what you need, let me go ahead and show you the uh, settings. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and start with the timer. So I do have two timers and I have one set to be active and one set to be inactive. And that is because one is going to be sending an event and the other one's just to display the time. So for my timer device, I named it Timer Device Build Reset A, with A standing for active. So let me go ahead and go through the settings. Now for functions, I'm gonna start when receiving from player spawner three on player spawn. That's because I'm using a player spawn pad. However, in your game, you might be using a teleporter. So you wanna make sure you put the right device here that you want to activate the timer so it can begin. Moving on to events, I have on success, send an event to the explosive device to explode as well as to reset. And that's it. Now let's look at the inactive timer. Now the settings are practically the same as far as all options. And the only difference is you're gonna have a function. It's gonna start when receiving from, of course, whatever you would like to activate the timer. And I have a set for player spawner. And then there's no events. It's not gonna send any type of event or anything like that. Lastly, let's look at the explosive device. And you can choose to have the audio on or off. It's truly up to you. Let's go ahead and set that to no. And it should automatically bind here. You should see that it should show explode when receiving from the timer device active and reset when receiving from the timer device active. And there's no events. And that is all you need. Some important tips real quick here. Just make sure that your explosive device has a radius that covers your entire area. In most cases, this particular arena is good enough for this zone. Um, however, if you have a bigger arena, you may have to add more than one explosive device. There is a limitation on how many devices you can add. 
So just make sure you take this into account when building your game. You have all the settings and you know the entire structure. Let's go ahead and run a test. Spawn in the game, the timer is counting down. And if players are building and playing, after that timer is successful, it's going to destroy the build and reset itself. So every 10 seconds, the builds reset. Yo, that was easy. You guys can take this new knowledge to create box fights, 1v1s, FFAs, and so much more. So be sure to put it to good use. In addition to that, be sure to check out my maps in Discovery. When you come across a map, click on view more from this creator to see everything I've created. And be sure to check it out. If you do, you are awesome. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I thank you so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye.